Hey everyone, this is DJ Dean Tap 2.0. Welcome to my podcast and YouTube channel and Instagram, pretty much all the social media apps. <laughs> um, so I basically wanted to try where I can actually um, put a video on YouTube, put the, of course, the voice on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and Instagram, pretty much just of both, but I can only add like small clip. So I'm trying something different and hopefully it works out. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So the main thing I wanted to talk about was um, the Twitter post I actually posted yesterday was for the fact that stating that um, Greek organizations should keep showcasing their new member presentations and, you know, just show it out there because from my experience, I've done this for a very long time now. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> um, it's just that moment where if you record a video and, you know, take pictures, whatever it can be, to be honest, like if you provide a video or pictures or anything, it gives them the memories of that event. And when we recruit or, uh, you know, ask people to join us, we always think to ourselves, okay, well, I want them to remember this moment this is the biggest moment of their life. And then we decided not to showcase any of them joining Greek life. I just, for me, I would be kind of disappointed. Luckily, I was um, one of the classes that was able to showcase when I crossed over into Greek life. And so I will always appreciate that. I think for one, and that's the reason why I like to give back when I go to these events and provide videos and pictures because these are the moments that change people's lives. And I don't think we should, like, I know there are reasons, to, like, I've heard of the reasons. I can't really talk about it because, of course, <laughs> um, but when I listen and, like, try to comprehend what happened, I think to myself, like, I understand maybe this chapter shouldn't be able to do it or you know I, I you know there it's not going to be perfect to be honest I remember there are organizations that I've done for many times and I've gotten better and better and better towards showcasing it or maybe so many different things to be honest however at the end of the day or pretty much anytime I look back I'm like these are the moments like I love them like even though they're not as what I wanted to a day now I still love them because it's just those moments that people will remember and it's just one of those things I just like to put out there let's go and showcase this I think when I was like going over in like New Year's or anything else like that you think to yourself man how many years do I have <laughs> to be honest that's what i was telling myself like i've done this so many times and then it's like i'm i'm still healthy like i said before but you never know you know you never know when it's gonna be like that day where it's like i can't do it no more so i tell myself like i can't wait like let's just do this let's let's showcase these members let's showcase greek life and there are going to be people hating on it i noticed that too it's just like i understand just block the negativity. I block people all the time. Like, honestly, if they see something negative, I block them. Like, I don't care. I don't have time for that. Like, you know what I mean? I want to move forward. And so that's the reason for it was that I wanted just to keep it going. Um, just let every organization know because a part of me feels like this should be honestly a, a what new member presentation every single day in the end of the semester because of the fact that there are so many chapters and schools with Greek organizations. And I'm just like, I don't actually get, I remember doing almost like at least, I think there was one week I did like three. I was like, oh my gosh, it was exhausting. However, very rewarding because I was like, I'm excited. So I get to see that. Um, I see some organizations actually start doing that now. However, I'm like, where are the videos? I don't see them. Like, it's like, are we going to post about them? Are we going to do something about it? Like, I honestly don't even recognize people that weren't, you know, provided on, like, social media posts or videos or anything else like that. But we're just hidden. It's just, like, why are we hiding? Like, I know with Greek life, 
we want to keep it very secretive like you know it's one of those things that's very private however you keep it private but then you don't let people know about it it's just like you can let them know some of it and like the movies provide there are like so many greek movies and shows that actually provide that that recognize all these important things but we don't showcase what happens inside like of course the process and how you get in because of course that's you know something that's very secretive like very um important not to share however we can showcase when new members come out i don't understand that part because of the fact that it's already given like you want people to see what's happening the hard work and them the new members being rewarded with the greek letters in a lifetime of of course a fraternity sorority it could be brotherhood sisterhood you know you name it and i feel like we need to keep it up we need to make sure others know that but if we keep hiding and not really showcasing this wow it's not going to grow to be honest i've seen organizations i've worked with organizations that haven't done it at all or just haven't done it in general and i just there is no growth there's nothing coming out of it as social media post was like there's nothing going on and it's just sad because like i said before they were great organizations but then you don't see them no more and i would hate that to happen like for me if i did all this hard work and i you know i decided to of course stop and i have my reasons for stopping it was just one of those things like i appreciate all the organizations that have given me the opportunity to showcase and video record and pictures but there was another chapter in my life where i actually wanted to move on to do other things which i'm still doing right now however i would love to give back to the greek community for all they have given me um and so that was the reason for it. and i hope that people don't take it in a way that it's like oh well we want to you know this is between us like well how about when you go to recruitment how you gotta, like inform them about what's happening a lot of information is provided on social media now um, instagram twitter tiktok you can name it snapchat all these apps and they're starting to see with even my instagram i'm showcasing every organization every mgc every um mphc um, I actually like to, you know, showcase all the Greek organizations, but it depends if they feel comfortable with me doing that. And that's the reason why I'm very hesitant about doing that part, because it's not my organization, it's their organization. So that's the reason why sometimes I don't post about them is because I want to make sure I get permission beforehand. It's out of respect. So, uh, but yeah, I was like, I'm excited because of the fact that I want to do a lot of different things. Um, but I, to be to be honest, I hate the feeling of being at an event and then recording it and taking pictures and then find out later on that I can't post any of it. Um, it's just like, oh, really? Ah, you guys did amazing. Or, And there's no specific organization. I'm going to generalize it because of the fact that, you know, there are many organizations that have stopped me from posting and I understand in their point of view, but I hope that they can understand my point of view. It's like, it's just so important for your organization to grow. Like you can, we don't want to be in that place where other Greek organizations are getting so much bigger and we are still staying in that small area. I don't like that to be honest. I'd rather us grow to be recognized and a part of me wants to help that and that helps me too but the problem is like i'm still growing because i go and do different organizations and different events and different all these different things so that's the reason like i want to help the greek organizations grow and i know i'm hoping 2000 like this year that organizations will just take a look and say you know what let's do this let's go and have new member presentations or what they, sometimes they might call our probate. It's just one of those things we have to keep it going. I want to see new Greeks come out. I love to see the support. And for me, like, I don't actually have to record it. I don't have to take the pictures, but I like to see it too on my end. Sometimes I like to sit down and watch. And there are, of course, I'd love to help out with 
the music, the videos, the pictures. And for me, it's just amazing to feel the growth after so many years of doing this. Like, I'm, like, excited. I'm excited to see the organization grow bigger and bigger. So, so with that, um, it was just, you know, I wanted people to recognize that we need to just put it out there. Because when you think about it, the most popular people don't really hide, honestly. They showcase themselves, like, and that's why I want Greek life to be. I want us to put ourselves out there, you know, for people to recognize. It's going to be tough. It's challenging. You you know, it's going to take so many years for this to happen. However, I've seen it grow. I've seen it get bigger and bigger, and people have told me, like, I we, like they appreciate the videos I post, the videos I post. And I recently did a survey, and it's just almost pretty much – I see 98% have said, yes, keep it going. Let's just keep it going. This is amazing. I love to see this. My culture, my organization, my values, everything towards what I'm putting on my Instagram has been very helpful to them to see that. Because if we hide it, it's not going to happen. And so, yeah, a part of me, you know, wanted just to let people know, like, let's do this. Let's keep it going. I would love to keep doing this, you know. Um, of course, every business has finances and money and management. So that's one challenge I'm, of course, facing. Because like I said before, I am taking the time out of my day in which I can actually earn money for something else. But I, I love what I do. So I'm hoping that one day I can just do this full time and not worry about anything else. But that's the... Um, that's pretty much why I'm taking care of right now. I'm working towards that goal of helping Greek life for pretty much the rest of my life. And if I don't get that chance, it's okay. At least I took um, took the chance of doing that. Like, I am thankful to actually have these memories and um, these moments. And at the end of the day, I tell myself, like, I'm happy that I did this. I'm happy I was there, like, going from my full-time job to go visit a Greek event almost like two three hours away just to come support and then have to drive back two three hours back and then pretty much work the next day um it's worth it you know in the long run we have to make progress and i'm hoping that you know this message get across to everyone from the greek community that we need to keep doing this we need to keep showcasing our members we need to showcase our organizations our values because we are the ones that's making history right now and so yeah i just wanted to put out there that was just something i was thinking about <laughs> um so you know make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel it's my spotify my apple podcast of course my instagram at dj dean Thap. other than that i appreciate everyone showing me some love and support other than that check me out on the next podcast or youtube video or instagram and i'll check you guys on the next time all right take care